<clears throat> hey guys, good morning. Dr. Shook here. So uh, today I got just a few minutes and there's something I want to share with you guys and that is what not to do. Um, <clears throat> so this weekend you see I'm in a suit and tie. You're rarely going to see that because uh, I just don't like it, quite frankly. Um, I'm in a hotel. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. And there's a, there's a healthcare conference and really it's, it's more of an event where um, a lot of people that are that are trying to get the word out and teach functional medicine are all meeting to basically share ideas. And there's a lot of different people here, um, a lot that you might not be familiar with. Probably the most um, famous person you're going to know of is Josh Axe is here. There's several people that we're going to be um, we're going to be working with, masterminding with, to try and figure out how can we. How can we better help people help themselves utilizing technology? How can we get the word out? So um, that's a, it's, it's going to be a great, great thing. I'm going to be here until Sunday. And, um, but let me tell you what not to do. Let me tell you something that I learned. <clears throat> so let me tell you, I don't drink alcohol. I mean, like, it's not that I'm uh, totally against it, but it's just not, it's not good for me. Like, I drink alcohol and I don't feel well when I do it. But, I, so the last time that I had that I drank alcohol was probably in like 2015. Like seriously, I was at a functional medicine conference, um, again, here in Atlanta, a, a Atlanta, uh, strange enough, uh, or coincidental enough, and um, doctors from all over the world were here, uh, and this was, you know, two years ago, and or three years ago about, and, um, and it's just, you know, it's, you get caught up in a moment. We all do that, you know, we're... We all have a drink or two, and then you know, then you don't feel well. But the problem with that is that that will out, drinking alcohol is not something you should do if you're trying to if you're autoimmune, if you're trying to recover for sure, and if you want to have you know an occasional alcoholic drink, it needs to be gluten free. Um, so I'll drink like the tequilas that are gluten free. Um, but anyway. Uh, so last night we get to the we get here. There are all these doctors and people from all over the world here, and they're hanging out at the bar. I'm like, okay, sure, I'll, I'll have a drink. Well, I have I have two, which is not you know it's not a lot, but I wake up this morning, my head's killing me, did not feel good at all, and I just realized like, wow, I am such a such a lightweight, but at the same time, that will that will send you guys, um, that will cause you a lot of problems with your recovery. Alcohol is not your gut's friend, it's not your blood sugar's friend, it's not the friend of your immune system. And it's, uh, so anyway, here's the thing. Everything that I try to teach you guys is how to help yourself. And that I, when I work with someone, I try to teach them how to help themselves. And I let you guys know, it, it shouldn't be forever. Your diet shouldn't be forever. Supplementation shouldn't be forever. But habits and certain things that you learn about yourself, they're going to be forever. Like for me, I know alcohol is just not good for me. It's not a good fit for me. Um, and some people could probably have a drink or two and be great. But you know what? It just, I'm just kind of, <laughs> you, sometimes you have to learn the hard way. You know, I think I've shared this with you guys before. Hey, what's going on, Randy? Hey, Trish. Hey, Linda. Thank you for the compliment. Roxanne, I'm with you. I don't feel good. I don't feel good after a drink. Um, you know, one of the things that I really want to share with you guys, bringing that up, or just thinking about this, which I wasn't planning on talking about, is is the fact that whenever you whenever you drink alcohol, if you get, you know, if you're, you know, we use the the expression lightweight. If you become very very tipsy very easily, you may actually have problems with your cerebellum. So the cerebellum is the back part of the brain. It, it controls balance, posture. Um, coordination, you know, whenever you're, whenever, quite frankly, if you're, if you're ever assessed for being, you know, impaired, like what, what a law enforcement officer would do, and they do the test where they do finger to nose, and they have them, you walk on a line, they're basically just, just assessing your cerebellar function, which is the back part of the brain, again, balanced posture, and whenever you drink alcohol, you impair the cerebellum, and that's why you can't balance as well, and, and a lot of the, you have a lot of those problems. If you have Hashimoto's, or if you're autoimmune, one of the things that, that like I've found clinically and that we're seeing we're seeing in the research is that if someone has Hashimoto's, their immune system's attacking either TPO or thyroid peroxidase, an enzyme or a protein or both in the thyroid. There, there's a few places that they're more likely to have expanded autoimmunity. And guess what? 
the cerebellum is one of those. Uh, so whenever we run a multiple tissue antibody panel that looks at expanded you know, antibodies, we'll find that people that, that have Hashimoto's will oftentimes have neurological autoimmunity to their cerebellar tissue. So if you have Hashimoto's, let's just say scenario, you have Hashimoto's, you drink alcohol, and you get very tipsy very easy. That is not a good sign. That means that it's very easy to dampen your cerebellar output, and it could, it could be an indication that there's a problem with your cerebellum. So, I mean, there, it, there's a few things to take in, into consideration, but that's one thing. So I wasn't even planning on talking about that with you guys. I just want to let you know, alcohol is really not your friend. Uh, and it's when you're, I mean, even socially, like I'm not going to drink at all the rest of the time I'm here. Like I'm, I was like, every time I do this, I'm like, I'm done with this. And then, you know what? Just like all of us, time passes, you get caught up in a moment, you do something, and then you're just like, mm, should I have done that? And sometimes you're okay, right? It's not, it's not the same for everybody. But um, it definitely was not a good experience for me last night. So anyway, I'm going to get down to the, the check-in. i got to get down there and get checked in and everything. But I hope you guys have a great day. Heather, there's no sound. Oh, no. Hey, Linda. Yeah, i got to teach. You know what? i just got to try to live... Um, the my experiences uh, share with you guys what you do because I mean I'm not like don't put me on a pedestal I mean I try to guide you guys and teach you what I think is best but I'm not perfect by any means and I want to live life too and a lot of people you know they get into this type of autoimmune lifestyle and they feel terrible and they they feel like their their life is so restricted and they don't want to do it and I mean I get it but you it's not forever you know, that's the thing, and I just want you guys to know, I mean, everyone's going to be different. Everything's going to be unique. Um, everyone's um, unique, so you just, you kind of have to experiment sometimes, right? And you learn learn about yourself, and that's one of the things. We're all unique. We all have these uniquenesses. So, anyway, guys, I got to go. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Yeah, Randy, you're welcome. Karen, you're welcome. Trina, Roxanne, so appreciate you guys. Hey, April. Yeah, there's my staff. Actually, my staff's here with me. Guys, I gotta go. Appreciate you so much. If you have questions, post them below. If you like these videos, please do hit share and like them, and I'll so I know what's going on and and what you guys uh, like, the kind of content and stuff, and I'll keep sharing with you. But I hope you have a good day. All right, see you.